Hello. What I'd like to talk about in this video is read noise and how it applies to CCD cameras. Uh, worth starting off just by mentioning that when we talk about noise, we're not talking about sound noise. This is electronic noise, uncertainty that relates to measuring a voltage or a, or a digitized value. So if we're expecting a value from a pixel of 50, maybe one time we measure it, we'll get a value of 55. Next time we measure it, it might be a value of 48. Uh, and the reason why we don't measure the same value each time really relates to the amount of noise that is accumulating within that, that signal. Uh, most sources of noise within a CCD camera uh, have a, what's called a normal distribution, so we can deal with it in a very simple statistical way. Uh, normal distributions have this kind of bell-shaped curve. Uh, we describe the standard deviation of this normal distribution as being well as having 68% of the values will be contained within plus or minus one standard deviation of the mean. So when we describe one of our cameras as having three electrons read noise, what we're saying that if we just look at the read noise elements of the uncertainty, then uh, then 68% of the values would be contained within a region of six electrons worth of ADU counts. So where is this noise coming from? Well, the most important source is the CCD itself and the amplifier that's doing the conversion of electrons into voltage. Uh, the, these are amplifiers that, that work, they work phenomenally well, so you can amplify just a handful of electrons and produce a voltage from them. Uh, but there, there is noise associated with that. And one of my jobs as a camera designer is to make sure that the rest of the electronics that are involved in the handling that signal are adding less noise than the actual CCD itself is adding. And then we get to the point that the limiting factor within the camera is the CCD itself. And that's not something that we can change. So we have the CCD amplifier, the main source of noise. Then we have some level shifters and circuitry associated with correlated dipole sampling if it's present. Uh, these are things that we are adding, adding voltage to the uh, to these levels, or maybe we're subtracting voltage, and we're using things like operational amplifiers to do that. Uh, and finally, we then digitise that value, and then we have the analog to digital converter, which in all our cameras cases is a 16-bit ADC. So the read noise uh, can be defined as the noise added between the charge conversion, the conversion of ele uh, electrons into a voltage and the digitization phase. If we look at some of the kind of values from our cameras, uh, they really are class leading. Uh, we've got uh, values for say the 420, just three electrons, 414, four electrons, uh, up to the infinity where we're looking at a camera that's uncooled, which has faster readout rates, and that's only six electrons worth of read noise. Uh, and for CCDs, these are very, very good values indeed. And will mean that what signal you've got so if you want to detect a very small signal, you're really interested in signal-to-noise ratios, the noise element becomes as small as possible and your signal, small and smaller signals become detectable. Uh, so that's read noise uh, and how we, how we control it. Thank you very much.